Hello again, St. Phillips. This is Father Richard with the Weekly Word. One of my favorite psalms uh, is Psalm 107. I'm going to read... Uh, I can't read the whole psalm because it's about 40 verses long. I'm going to read the first nine, nine verses. And I think you're going to hear some echoes of some New Testament uh, verses in here too, uh, especially from Mary's Magnificat. Psalm 107, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those he redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to an inhabited town, hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. And they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way until they reached an inhabited town. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and the hungry. He fills with good things. I, I was reading that the other day and was thinking about July the 4th uh, coming up, celebration of the signing of the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia in 1776 and uh, thinking about, uh, I guess I was thinking about refugees and thinking about uh, asylum seekers and thinking about all those millions of people uh, who uh, came to our shores from everywhere from Ireland to Italy to China to Czechoslovakia, from Russia, everywhere, uh, you know, people who are wandering and who needed uh, sanctuary, uh, who needed, uh, they were in, in in the desert, if you will, in desert wastes, wandering like the children of Israel, and they needed uh, shelter and needed a place to, to call home. And uh, I guess that's what I think of when I, when I think of uh, America. I think of, uh, uh, it, it's kind of like I was thinking, uh, you know, St. Peter's in Rome, the, the mother church, if you will, the Roman Catholic church is built there's a plaza next to St. Peter, St. Peter's uh, Basilica, and the, the, there's a colonnade around the plaza that kind of has, it looks like open arms, and it, that's the way it was designed, was to look like open arms. It looks like that, so people can walk in the, walk in the one end uh, and, and be enveloped then in the space. And uh, I don't know, that's kind of how I think about uh, this country too, you know, open arms. Uh, yeah, it's too bad we're, we're such at odds about that these days, but I hope we can find a way to, to solve that problem. Um, I want to call your attention to a, a couple of things. Uh, first, uh, St. John's Lutheran is now uh, worshiping at St. Philip's in the nave every Sunday at noon. Uh, we are also going to be having joint worship services every uh, every month, more or less, uh, from now through the end of the year, at least. Uh, first one is on July the 11th. I think the second one is on August the uh, 18th, or August the, um, pardon me, August 15th. So we think about that, it should be lovely. And there's even a, a, uh, some rumor that we might join choirs together from St. John's and St. Uh, Philip's. So that would be, that'd be a lovely thing. What a grand worship service we would have then, right? I'm going to leave you with a prayer for, uh, it's, it's under the uh, rubric of prayers for national life in the Book of Common Prayer. And uh, this is a good land and it's got good people. And uh, I hope we can continue to be good people and good neighbors to the world around us. Prayer for National Life, page 820 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, who hast given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. And do this with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail. 
all of which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.